This morning I was watching some old Civic videos. I was trying to find something I did and I watched just like probably three or four old Civic videos and then I literally just looked out the window and saw the Civic. It just put me in this thing. Somewhere along the way of me having fun and filming it and making videos, it became a business and it became what I do. And it started to become more serious and it's still a lot of fun, like I still am super thankful I get to do this every day, like this is my job and it's just unreal. Um, but a lot of the times I'm like stressed out or I'm worried about what video I'm gonna post or the next thing and the next thing and the next, and you never just take a second and just like appreciate what you have and what you've accomplished. I was watching a video from one year ago, one year ago, and we were in my single car garage at my very first house when I moved to BC, and it just like, you guys just, you, you don't need, like, there's no way for me to even say how that feels. Life gets really intense sometimes and it gets really hard and sometimes you feel like you're just trying to get through and just trying to survive it. And I remember the day that we dipped the Civic, I recommended to you guys that even if you don't want to do something today, just go, just start, just do it and tomorrow you'll be thankful. And I think for like the last three, four months, I've kind of just been trying to get by and I've just been doing things today that I know I'll appreciate tomorrow, but then the next day is like not much better and I'm just, I'm just doing it again and again and again. And then one day, like today, I finally have the chance to like take a breath and just enjoy today and look at what me working with my head down and not necessarily appreciating it has gotten me and it's just insane. I, if I can do it, any of you guys can do it. And that's all I gotta say today. Anyways, aside from that, today what I wanna do is I wanna try and do something with these little vent pieces that come with the Karma Body Kit. So you guys know that these guys go in the front fenders, they're kind of in a weird place and they're, they're just show pieces really, like there's no functionality to it. If you look behind it, you can see just, there's just like bars and fiberglass. It looks really cool and everybody else that has the Karma Kit so far, well that's a lie. Almost everybody else has these just carbon wrapped or carbon overlaid just like I did with the front little garnish piece and the rear garnish piece. But something that I wanna do is I wanna try and make this functional just cause like it's kind of, I don't, I don't really, don't really care to have it there not being functional. The thing with that though is that I just want to do this for fun. Like there's no need, this isn't going to be a track car. We are going to boost it, we are going to have a lot of fun with it, we're going to try and make it fast and fun. And I was thinking of doing like a functional brake vent system, but I looked into that a lot and to get it to do what we want, it doesn't really work with also being kind of like an aired out, stancy sort of build. The two worlds just don't really collide perfectly. So what I'm gonna try and do is probably just make this like a fender louver, meaning it just kind of like vents the fender, or I'm gonna try and make this into something that can kind of air duct feed the turbo. So, so it would be like a cold air intake, like the Speed 3s have it where the little front grill actually goes up and right onto the intercooler, like something like that. I don't know. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a good old fashioned Robbie DIY day. I don't have a plan for this. I, I literally don't know how this video is gonna end. And what I'm planning to do is I have a bunch of this ABS plastic left over from when we did the diffuser on the BRZ. Thankfully I kept it just in like random little chunks and weird shapes, but there's enough that I could literally just using this piece, I could make two of these little fender grills. So that's tight. And I think what I'm gonna do is instead of cutting this piece up and then having it be completely ruined, I'm gonna try and outline it onto here, remake it out of the ABS, and then we can demo things with the ABS. Well, I'm sure this is gonna need a little bit more fine tuning to make it fit like absolutely perfectly because that was pretty quick. Oh, that's actually really close. I have to shave just like a little bit off the top. Just having it black versus having like the fiberglass ones that you just keep putting in there, this looks so much better already. So for a little mock-up template, I'm actually really impressed with this. This is looking like, oh, of course I did that. I have a couple things I wanna try. So I told you guys what I wanna do with it, but I'm gonna kinda like, wonder if I can draw it out or if I'm better just to start cutting. See, oh, Brad, thank you for leaving this random clipboard here. I'm just gonna, just gonna borrow a quick piece of paper. My first idea would be if the vent is kind of like this, kind of make like a louver in it. So it would kind of go like this. This is a terrible drawing, but, and then this would just be kind of like 
a hole behind there and a hole behind there. Actually, Brad just bought a wrecked hood from an old drift car. This is exactly what we're going for, something like this, where you'd have like the breathing slots. That's idea number one. Idea number two would be kind of the same, obviously the exact same shape. And then, honestly, if we could heat it up like a lot, and stretch some sort of hole into the middle, but then you'd kind of like, the drawing's just not gonna work, but it looks like a sunshine now. And then an example of the second one would be like what we have on the Civic front bumper. I'm talking about something like this, that would just kind of be like a hole. It would just, except this one's really dramatic, it would just kind of like, like slowly sink in and be a nice little suction hole. My concern is that that's a pretty big spot to just have one really random hole going in it. I'm gonna start with this one, because I think this one will be the coolest. For the record, this is just like old times. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. Dude, we might be onto something. This is looking actually super cool. Like if, if it if the bends and everything work out, this is gonna be tight. I looked at this. These are like little louvers I found on Amazon. And I realized that they look better because the base sinks in. So instead of them sticking out like Brad's do on his hood, where they kind of like come up off the hood, these ones, you cut them out. Well, I did what these ones are. So I cut the bottom out. So I cut it like this so that the bottom can kind of sink in and then the top can stay level so that they'll be kind of smoother. I have no idea how that's gonna work out. That's just what I'm planning. So I got them all cut to the point where I think I should be able to bend them. Probably should have done this before I put the, the curve in it because now it's like super curved and I don't know what I'm gonna do to hold it there. I really don't know, but I'm having fun. I like, I, I love making stuff. I think it's been a while. A lot of stuff we've done lately is just bolt-ons. I haven't like made something like this in a while and I'm fired up, I'm having fun. Yo, this is literally exactly what we were going for. I can't believe that actually worked. It didn't work exactly the way I, I, I did it. I'm stupid. I first of all should have done the top one first and then worked my way down, but I didn't. Second of all, heating it up this way is um, melting these guys. So they, this whole thing might have to get reshaped when it's done. Need some big time cleaning up. The edges are like yucky, yucky. But <laughs> dude, we I feel like we're on to something. I feel like that that could be it. It looks weird right now because like a lot of these are really thick. But if you guys kind of get like a good glimpse of the concept, once we kind of spend a little bit more time and clean it all up, this didn't go as planned. So I <laughs> using the vise is a lot harder than I thought it would be because this is way too big for it. So the top two. You can see they have like a really nice kind of square and then round off. This one was kind of weird. This one, the whole thing fell apart right as I was about to finish and basically we just rotated it on like the axis, nothing actually bent and the bottom one was, <laughs> the bottom one wasn't cut out too well so it just looks terrible. Like I think that's pretty cool. If we could get the right bend on all of these, I think 100% we could do this. This one is definitely gonna stay a prototype. I kind of messed up, like you can see right there, it's got like a really weird wave. But like I just can't stop thinking of this thing being carbon wrapped and how dope that would be. And the fact that we made it ourselves is even cooler. better about this one. I'm actually really fired up. I'm gonna give this one a quick rinse, just make sure it's all cooled down. Burn the hell out of myself. I've burnt myself 
like a hundred times today. Even with the tape on, like this, this looks so good. Probably for the people that are new, I know that lately I've, I've done a, what I would like to call a really nice build and I've spent more money than I normally have in the past. I think it is like just one of the coolest things that I did this and then I'm still gonna make little custom Robbie pieces for it. Like that's what my channel is really all about. Anyways, look at this thing. Oh my God, this turned out like literally perfect. Putting that tape there I think helped because you can see all these are exactly the same. I haven't sanded this or anything yet. I haven't spent the time on it and it's kind of the tape kind of left some gunk on there because I heated it, but all right, we're gonna have to straighten that part out. <laughs> this part got way too hot. Dude, look at the little bend it's got going. That's not good. Still, like I said, it's still ugly. It needs a good sanding, but like from the side when you come around, there's no excessive things um, like louvers. But when you're right on the front, it just, it just, if it was just carbon right now, Ooh. I came back to the warehouse this morning and I spent hours just sanding these things down. I'm, I'm for some reason putting a lot more time into them than I was planning on. But hopefully they'll turn out and it'll be worth it. But this is, uh, I sanded it with like 80, 180, blah, 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 kept going up. And then you guys can see, I guess when it was like hot, I, my fingernails, when I was trying to bend it, I must have like pressed them into here. So I kind of like spot puttied a couple places that needed it. They're not, I'm going to say this one more time than the last time. They're not going to be perfect. These aren't supposed to be perfect. These are like... Just a little Robbie touch on the car. But I got this one and this one all sanded down and spot puttied where I found it was in some need of it. And what I wanna do, oh my God, I don't even think I've touched this paint since we moved into here. I should have some black, yeah. Here's some, I'm gonna just say that this is like a semi-gloss black. Leave those outside to dry and then while I was doing that I actually ended up cutting some more of the BRZ up also if you guys remember when we put the wheels on I like couldn't turn it at all so I cut like a little bit and then I cut like a lot of bit so you guys can see this is at full lock right now so there's actually a little bit of clearance um, we might have to keep cutting when we air out but I probably just won't drive aired out I'll probably drive at like my current ride height same thing on the other side just lobbed off a bunch and then what you guys saw me do is I actually painted this on there because we're gonna remove this but there's no point in building our own until we have the turbo kit and we know exactly like if it needs to go up a little bit higher to support it or whatever the case is. The paint that I used was actually the same paint we used on the S10 frame. So you guys remember when we did like the full rust repair on the truck and I used like a really, well let me just tell you what it's called actually. It's called Ultimate Rust Preventative Coating. Super hard, non-porous coating. It's supposed to kill rust and seal extremely tight. Now did I believe it would seal extremely tight? I'm sure it would. But then when I had to take the lid off, I realized that damn this stuff works. Dude, look at this. I literally had, like, I couldn't get the lid off for the life of me. It's, it literally cemented itself onto here. I had to use, like, screwdrivers and prior, pliers, and I had to, like, bust this whole thing wide open. Like, this is a huge mess, which is good. That means it works really well, and on the truck, it's probably sealed super, super tight. I to Brad how I wanted to put that on, like, my bash bar and my rear end and all the places we cut where we needed to, like, fit the wheels and all that kind of stuff, and he was like, I don't know, it might be too porous because it's a little thick. So I tried it on this bash bar because we're gonna get rid of the bash bar anyways, so I don't care if it doesn't look good. Honestly, I don't mind it. Like when you get up close, it, it dries actually like really smooth. I think the reason it was so, oh, that's kind of yucky actually once you look at it right there. We might need to do just a light second coat. Um, of course, it's only in the center too. But it dried super smooth. I think the reason it dried aggressive on the truck was because the truck was aggressive. And I just got kind of bad news, I guess. The bash bar that we ordered is gonna be about two more weeks. It was supposed to be here like this week, but it's gonna be two more weeks. So I figure while I have the entire kit off, I may as well just rip the back bumper off, paint that black too, then none of you guys have to look at it anymore. It's done and all we gotta do is put the bash bar on and we're good. I'm pumped, it's like super nice out lately. The door has been wide open, it's been sunny, it's been beautiful. And this video became more than just these fender vents, but. I figure while we're at letting things dry, why would we waste time? Let's just finish up all the stupid little things that need to get done.
I feel like that little night shot thing didn't work as well as I wanted it to. I took out like the 50 mil, I took a couple photos, and I think the photos probably turned out good, but the, the edit, I don't, I don't think the edit was very good. But regardless of the edit, dude, check this out. So the kit is fully bolted on. This is the first time we have ever had this kit 100% bolted down. Ever since we did it, we put it on, we put like a couple screws or a couple bolts, but we never 100% had this thing bolted on, and it is officially, aside from the fact that the wheel poke in the back is bad, until I get like my camber arms and stuff, um, I don't want to drive it, because I don't want to risk that fender, but like, it is officially ready to go on the road. And I think the black looks so good. Like, the whole thing just looks sick. Looks really good. It's just so tight. Like, just look at this. So when we put all the hardware in, all like the gaps and everything tightened up really nice. Like, it actually looks really good. There's a couple spots that need fixing. I think the front fenders, the gaps are okay. This side, something happened back here. We have like a really weird gap right here. So I'm gonna have to probably put another hardware piece like right in there just to kind of snug that one up. And... I think other than that, it's all good. Like this side looks good. It's good, dude. Like the fitment is just, when we installed this, like when we went with the reverse mount and we made this all up, like I think we absolutely killed it. I think I'm excited because it's coming together and it's coming to the point where I'm like almost ready to drive it. And it has never been, the fenders have never been on safely enough other than when we did like the exhaust video, I fired, I fired like four bolts in there just to hold them. As far as the vents go, something like weird happened, I guess. Yesterday I was heating these up a lot, like a lot of different times. And I guess when they really cooled down overnight, they changed shape again, because this bottom piece now, it like, it sits in there, but it just barely pokes out, so these, yeah, see, and then when I pushed the bottom and the top came out, and now I just ejected the whole thing, oh my god. Anyway, for now, this thing's just like pressure fit in here, because I didn't know if I was going to try and reshape it or whatever before I do it 100%, but I'm, I think it looks really good. Like, I think it ties the whole kit together, you don't really notice them from up front, like, they're just, they're part of the kit, it is what it is. But something I also didn't tell you guys I did was I did cut out behind this fender. So in here, I cut this all away. So when you look into these vents, you actually see the tire now. Like it, it it's more functional now than it was before. Yeah, you can actually see the meat, which is nice. Obviously go in behind there and just do something to make them stay. I was thinking of even just putting like maybe a little bit of that adhesion stuff we have, like that super glue stuff. You can even probably just use hot glue. Yeah, well, this isn't a budget bill. I'm just <laughs> I'm use hot glue. I'm just but something, but I wanted to fix this how it's like sort of bent first. And then of course the bash bar, you barely even notice it anymore. If you get up close, you can see it's like a glossy kind of. Um, but like I told you guys, this, the painting, you won't even notice that in a couple weeks once my uh, like honeycomb mesh and stuff arrives, you completely won't even see that. And you guys shouldn't have anything to complain about now, because in all the photos you guys are always complaining about, because I take a lot of photos of the back, because that's like my favorite part of this kit. You guys are always complaining about how you see the blue. And you focus more on the kit, you don't notice that there's something weird back there, like no one will ever notice it again. Yeah, can you just open the door? No, 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 open the door. Actually, maybe in the trunk, here. I'm gonna pop the trunk for you. I'm curious to see like how bad this really is. Just go, please go slow at the beginning. Like maybe start with just like a sit. Okay, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Dude, I can't believe that. There's no way. Can you give me like a good jump? Stand up there, no, stand. stand. I don't wanna stand. Stand on the plastic, and then just slowly jump though, don't get aggressive. Give me some light jumping, don't go overkill. All right, get a little more intense. Man, there's no way. That's crazy. The fact that this clears is nuts. I don't even put my finger there. Get some big jumps? Are you seeing it? Yeah, give me one big jump. Oh, stop, 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 I heard it, Nick. Yeah, okay, so that's why I don't want to drive. It's good though, like I can't, we're not gonna need as much camber as I thought, dude. Maybe before like SEMA, I'll get these redone in fiberglass so they look a little bit more professional, but for now, I think they're tight. For now, I think they do the job perfectly. I think every time I'm looking at it and I just like, I don't notice the bash bars anymore, you don't notice the blue and I'm really focusing on like the kit now. And it looks sick. And the wheel fitment in the front isn't as bad as I thought it was. Once the, once the fender's actually bolted to the car like really tight, kind of sucked it in. I don't even have words. Anyways, hopefully, in like a couple more videos, I'll be able to drive this thing again. And you guys have no idea how that much that excites me. So, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and stay committed.